Revelio. Bombarder. Incendio. Defendo. Imperial. Sebastian, a lost relic from a catacomb which requires a dark sacrifice. I know how it sounds, but if this can help you, it's worth the risk. Does Ominous know about this? He helped find the scriptorium where we discovered Slytherin's... There, I'll meet you. We don't have much time. Solomon wants to leave Feldcroft. What? Leave? Never mind. You need to stall him. Buy us time, Anne. Please. I shall do my best. I'll be in touch. Solomon can't take Anne from Feldcroft. Where would they go? When would I see her? Sebastian. I can't believe my uncle wants to leave Feldcroft. Anne's going to stall him. She must. We need time. Time? For what? I've learned more about the relic. I cross-referenced Slytherin's spellbook with everything in the library on relics and dark sacrifices. That's when I realized something. I believe the relic will only work inside the catacomb. So we have to get Anne to the catacomb and then conduct a sacrifice. Seems risky. It'll be worth the risk. Our biggest hurdle may be convincing Ominous. Anne will only give this a chance if he's on board. And we have to keep all of this from your uncle. If he goes to the headmaster, well, he could be expelled. Let me handle Ominous this time. As for my uncle, he's not an aura anymore. What he doesn't know, well, won't hurt us. Good luck with Ominous. Until we meet again. I shall let you know when the four of us should meet at the catacomb. Look for my owl. See you soon. I wonder if you'd be able to help me. Everything all right? Far from it. I wandered into a ruin and was attacked by spiders. Oh. If you've got some Wiganweld potion, though, I'm sure that would put me right. Spiders do tend to appear in ruins. Here, I have enough to spare. Stay away from the ruins, though. You've saved me life. Oh, I can never repay you. Yes, yes, I shall stay away from them, you'll see. Must stay away from ruins with spiders. Ruins with spiders. Oh, and thank you. Please accept this token of my appreciation. Could it be? 
a Merlin trial. Knowing the meat he's likely studied here. Incendio. Bombarda. I swear, none of you'd have a head left on your shoulders if you didn't have me. The course looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. Gryffindor, over here! Hello again, Imelda. This course is a bit far from the castle, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive, not running scared. I'm surprised our new fifth year showed up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually... thank you. I know I can be impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Anyway, don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. <laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. This is going well. Brilliant. Wasn't too difficult. Ho, ho! No success there. Flying, if I do say so myself.
Wasn't hoping for that. Not to worry. You'll have to do better than that if you want to top my time. This course is all about testing your ability to focus. Each turn requires a decision. Make one, then commit to it. Imelda Rays, are you giving the competition advice? I wouldn't call it that, no. Just chatter between friends, that's all. <sighs> now, care to try again? I'm ready. Thank you, Imelda. Of course. Get out there. <laughs> Made it. Say so myself. Brilliant. Say so myself. hoping for that. Not to worry. You'll have to do better than that if you want to top my time. This course is all about testing your ability to focus. Each turn requires a decision. Make one, then commit to it. Imelda Rays, are you giving the competition advice? I wouldn't call it that, no. Just chatter between friends. That's all. <sighs> now, care to try again? I think I should have a rest. Try again later. Of course. This time trial is all about quick reactions and focus. This is not one to rush. We're still on for the trial, aren't we? <laughs> Kept the course all nice and warm for you. So, you ready? We'll soon see how I fare, won't we? I'm ready. 
<laughs> Get ready to lose, Gryffindor. That wasn't too difficult. <laughs> now that's more like it. If I do say so myself, excellent. That. that was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. Has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. <laughs> Not bad. For a Gryffindor. You take care of yourself. I should Beginner's luck, I say. You'll not beat me next time. Where's my favourite test flyer? Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Revelio. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. 
I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to send you an hour when I'm finished. Thank you again for your help. Couldn't have done this without you. I do make a good team. Still clear. This mine could be hiding a secret. Anrock and his loyalists. No sign of Lodgok out here. Inside already. Look at the size of this mine. Something seems wrong. This place is teeming with Ranrock's loyalists. I have to keep my wits about me. Rebellion. This cart ought to get me deeper into the mine. Just like Gringotts, but I'm in the driver's seat this time. Something seems wrong. How deep will this take Red me? Redrum's gonna be pleased with our progress. Who was on that car? Ah, will ya? That has to be the end up ahead.
Sender. I wonder where these pipes go. Glance off at me. What was that? It's a pity. Not quite. I've been fighting since before you were born. Defender, you can't. Defender. 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 Rebellion. Incendio. Rebellion. Sleep on my feet, I could. Revenue. Let's 
to worry about. You only have Ranrock to blame. Revelio. Incendio should be enough to make these flames. I hope I can get to Ranrock before Logcock does. Another drill is complete. The wizarding world will crumble. <laughs> I can end this right now. I have to destroy the drill and stop Ranrock's loyalists. your helm. 
you Lord Gok. So gullible. That witch did not consider you an equal. She, like all wizard kind, sought only to use you. You're wrong, Ranrock. The young ones are especially deceitful. They are taught to hide their disgust for us as they exploit us. Astonishing that our ancestors ever trusted each other. All this time, looking everywhere for the final repository, Searching in vain for Bragpaw's last journal. Wasted my time chasing a child. And my little brother knew where it was all along. But now I don't need you. I don't need any of you. I was bringing it to you. Right, a 
Oh, Lord Cook. Dead by his brother's hand. No wonder he tried so hard to reason with him. Now to get out of this blasted place. I'll send word to Fig to meet me in the map chamber. He and the keepers need to know Ranrock has that journal and knows where the final repository is. Wouldn't mind a plump job at Gringotts. Suit me, sitting around all day. Mind you, I suppose it could get a bit boring. This cannot possibly be as difficult as it... Just keep our heads up. Imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. I hope Professor Fig got my owl. I need to tell him and the keepers that Ranrock knows where the last repository is. According to the owl I received, Ranrock is moving more quickly than we could have anticipated. This is grave news indeed. We had hoped for more time to discuss the best path forward. Let us hear what the student has to say. Professor, you received my owl. Ranrock has the last of Bragbor's journals. He killed Lodgok to get it. He knows where the last repository is. Godric's heart. Lodgok. Lodgok and Ranrock were brothers. Lodgok was bringing the journal to me. Ranrock is a monster. We need to know where the final repository is. Surely this changes things. Ranrock has Bragbor's journals and knows where the final repository is. We obliviated Bragbor. He kept journals? Why would he have documented all of this? He didn't know what we were containing. 
I'm afraid I can't say. I didn't read the journals. I fear you are correct. The situation is far from ideal, but we can wait no longer. I will defer to Professor Rockham as to how to proceed. Based upon the memories they have seen, I believe our young friend is well aware of the grave circumstances in which we find ourselves. The next trial will involve an exceptional level of magical skill and a nuanced ability to interact with beasts. Find a face of stone and tendrils. I should advise you that you must engage with any beast that is part of the trial on your own. Professor Bakar will meet you in his pensive room. An exceptional level of magical skill? Nuanced ability to interact with beasts? Hmm. I suppose we should begin our search for a face of stone and tendrils, whatever that may be. Very well. Professor Weasley has been keeping an eye on me. Perhaps we should meet there, so she has no reason to raise concerns with Professor Black. I shall see you near the coast. Nice to see you, my young friend. This looks intriguing. You're here. I have good news. We do not have any of Ranrock's loyalists to contend with. Of course, the bad news is that it's likely because they no longer need to track the Keepers for information. Revelio. This place could Incendio. do... Let's look around. Bombarda. Incendio! Is that a... It is! I believe I know what must be done. Revelio. Bombarda! Revelio. Do you recognize the head sculpted there? It looks like a grap horn. And the prints carved into the ground lead me to believe that a grap horn will somehow open the way forward. That's what Professor Rackham meant when he spoke of my needing an ability to interact with beasts. It would seem so. I do know that the last of a long dynasty of Graphorns lives nearby. They call him the Lord of the Shore. I suspect you'll need to bring him here. What happens next, I can't say. If that's what must be done, I'll do it. Excellent. I know this area well enough. When you see the remains of a large sea creature, you're in the right place. Now, 
Professor Rackham made it clear that you must engage with any beast that is part of this trial on your own. So I shall wish you good luck and wait for your return in the map chamber. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Now there's a student who... This place has seen better days. This must be the place. She said Sebastian promised her that I would be there if she went to meet him in the catacomb. But now he's asking her to join him immediately and to come alone. She says he doesn't sound himself. Meet us at the catacomb as soon as you can. I hope that my quill has conveyed my message clearly. Very well, Lord of the Shore. Show yourself.
What say we pick up the pace a bit? Race down, my friend. Slow down now. There we go. Poachers. Let's see how the Lord of the Shore feels about his neighborhood being invaded. You shouldn't be here. Press up, son. Take more than this to stop the Lord of the Shore. You freed that horn tail. I had money on it. We're crossing that bridge whether you like it or not. That goblin elm. Time for you all to clear out. You lost us our ransom. We had that Merlin woman till you showed up. <laughs> <laughs> 